dudes and dudettes. The ZR car back again with another video. All right. So the wind's blowing and when I went out to do the video earlier, people were mowing their lawns and washing their cars and making all sorts of racket. Anyways, I went to uh, Yellowstone National Park yesterday. For about, uh, it was like 460, 460 miles, something like that. And I've taken this one before to uh, pretty much the same route and almost ran out of gas. Um, this has the 5.3 in it. Well, I figured I'd make darn sure that the gas tank was super full. The range said 700 miles with the baby Duramax and it did not disappoint. We can look at the fuel gauge, but I think there's like three quarters tank left. I mean, this thing did amazing. And at high altitudes, that turbo just didn't miss a beat. It really felt like it had a lot of power. Except one time, it kind of went into a limp mode, which I didn't even know these could do. And uh, it said acceleration, um, a quick acceleration not available or some weird crap like that. And uh, I got a text saying that uh, service the DEF, imagine that. Or service uh, emissions, I think is actually what it said. So that was great. Pulled over after about three minutes and turned it off, turned it on, and it went away. It was fine again, but still, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. So I'm not sure why exactly that came on, but we definitely were at like uh, pretty high altitude. Came down from 11,000 feet down to about 775 maybe. So I guess uh, just trying to update you on the gas miles or fuel miles on this thing is just fantastic. I do have these summer wheels on and um, picked them up off Marketplace for like 600. They're pretty much brand new and I wanted black wheels for this one. So I picked up those. The normal ones are the Goodyear mud trains and they don't need to be on for the summer. I did order this, made a bunch of videos how I probably should have ordered the full size bed. But I also probably should have ordered the black interior. Um, all this one, this although this is definitely more unique for sure. Let's see what kind of feel we got left. Range three forty six. Almost have 4,000 miles on this beast. So yeah, I drove 457.1 at 20. Sorry, dang Bluetooth picked it up. But anyways, yeah. If you saw the dash there, 29.9 miles to the gallon. I mean, that is freaking outstanding. Uh, compared to the 5.3, like I said, I didn't even run out of gas on the same trip. I think I... I think I actually had to get gas before I made it back home. I mean, that's literally like almost double the gas mileage. It's freaking insane. Granted, Yellowstone National Park is like 
mostly 45 miles per hour through the park. And it was weekend, so everybody was going slow. So, I mean, that helps out the mileage tremendously, of course. So I was getting like 40, 45 miles to the gallon until um, I had to jump on the interstate. And then obviously it went down pretty quick. It was super windy too, but yeah, so I'm really digging the old Duramax. I do have a really annoying squeak coming from this leaf spring over here. So, I don't know why it's squeaking like here. Let's see if I can jump on it. Yeah, you can hear that. It is so freaking annoying. But, you know, like, I don't think, I don't know if there is a perfect vehicle out there. Like, uh, this transmission transmission will jump in the HD, and then this one squeaks, and then this one, I don't know, it almost sounds like it has a... Uh, a bearing or something on the left side that kind of makes a whistle. Anyways, I'm just kind of convinced that every one of them has got something wrong with them. Don't think there's a perfect one. But this gas mileage has been perfect. Holy moly. Just fantastic. I'm really looking forward to the Z71 model in 25 with this Duramax. I think more than likely I'll trade this for the for the Tahoe, Z71 Tahoe. Because um, I don't really need three trucks. And really like the HD. I really like this one. Um, F53 is just so smooth and... I don't know, I just really like it, especially for the winter, you know, warms up fast and all that stuff, but wow, this gas mile is just fantastic. Fantastic. Hopefully I don't get any more of those emission uh, kind of limp mode messages. I'll let you know if I do, but I don't think I will. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.